Hi there, Tom Romeo from PCS with another session on how to do things with Traverse. Today we're troubleshooting session timeouts for the Traverse web client. Though you can use these techniques for any application that uses the browser as long as you have access to the server that runs the browser. So Traverse is running right now, if you look at the URL, on a server that's up in Azure. So it's on the internet. And this page has been running for, oh, I don't know, more than 12 hours. You notice how it's still responsive. I hit clear. I could find other records. So this page has been running for quite some time. And you notice how it hasn't timed out. And that's because Traverse has a mechanism built in that refreshes the session every five minutes. But sometimes at different customer sites, uh, we find that the session does time out. So now I'm on the Traverse server itself, and I'm in IIS, and what I'm going to do is stop the application pool. But before we do that, I want to show you some information. So right now, you see the idle timeout. So if the web client, the page, is idle for 20 minutes, the session will time out. Also, this refreshes IIS every 1740 minutes that's 29 hours so every 29 hours your 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 web service the application pool is going to be refreshed and i'm just doing the math here uh, in a calculator so every 29 hours your application is going to be refreshed and that means your session will time out and there's nothing you can do about that unless you set that value to zero but what i'm doing now is I'm going to stop the application pool and then start it again and show you what happens to our application. And you'll notice once we do this, when we go back to the web application, you'll notice that Traverse has been logged out. Now, if the five minutes had passed and we tried to refresh a session, you would have gotten an error message here. But because the session hadn't really, the refresh hadn't occurred yet, when I hit clear, it just realized that we weren't logged in anymore and now I need to log back in. But if I had let this web page go uh, and wait the five minutes, it would have tried to refresh the session and notice that the session was not loaded anymore and you would have gone to the login page. So now we're back in Traverse and I'm just pulling up another record to show you that it's actually working again. But again, that should never ever happen to you uh, during the course of a working day. Uh, as long as you've got one of these pages open, um, that session should be refreshed. So now I'm going to show you what you can do to troubleshoot. Right now I'm on the web client, the server itself, and I went into the Windows Event Viewer. And you notice how uh, I went to the system event log. Now, you can filter these logs, but what I'm going to show you doesn't work in a filter. You actually have to do a find. So I just found the words World Wide Web. And you see it says it entered the running state. If I find it again, it entered the stopped state. And you notice it occurred on the 4th, which was yesterday. And that's because I did, in fact, stop it yesterday uh, when I um, hit the Save button on the web config. Um, but now we're going to search for some other strings. And I'm going to paste these strings up in the um, YouTube channel so you can actually paste them. Uh, but right now it says Serving Application Pool Traverse was shut down due to inactivity. Okay. And when we find that string, you see how the session was, um, it was um, shut down, but that was before I went into this page where I was actually running it all day. And now I'm just browsing through the uh, event viewer to look at other types of messages that might be of interest. Uh, but for the most part, uh, the strings that I'm going to give you in the YouTube channel um, are the strings that you would search for to do this troubleshooting. Um, 
and there's another thing I'm going to show you that we did for Traverse that lets you um, uh, find out if the session reset is working as well. And we're going to get into that in a minute. But you notice here now I'm just searching for the word Traverse. So anything that is related to Traverse will come up in the event viewer. Uh, and this happens to be the web service, not the web client. So if you're actively not doing anything, you would see the web service does recycle. But now I'm going to the logs, right? So wherever you install Traverse in the log folder, you see there's the Traverse web client and you notice that message. The refresh session was called. So this is a brand new debug message that we put in the system uh, yesterday and it's available for download. You notice also that it happens every five minutes. So now, how do you know if you're running the latest version? Well, if you in, if you downloaded Traverse before April 4th, 2020, you've got an older version. But if you download it today and hit the properties and look at when the digital signature was signed, you'll see that it was signed April 4th, 2020. If you've got a digital signature that's April 4th, 2020 or later, you've got the version that will do this. So you see how I've just loaded the Traverse Config Manager and you notice how all of my logging is in debug mode. To check the web client, you only need to have the web client in debug mode. I happen to put them all in debug mode so that I can see all of the debug statements um, so that if I want to look for something in the logs, I can find it. Um, putting it in debug mode is not going to hurt you. Um, it'll take some more disk space, but not much. Uh, so it's best to keep it in normal mode. Now you notice here, because I saved it, the session did stop, and now you see the error message. So now when I hit clear, since the session no longer exists, it's going to take me back to the login page. And that you'll see. So I'm going to log back in. And the few other things I want to talk about is, you know, if you're here at one of these pages, any Traverse page, every single page does perform a session refresh. Um, so if you've got the latest version of Traverse, the session refresh always occurs. Also, uh, so now we're, we're looking at some more event log information just to see what other information is published. Mostly you're going to look at the system log, not the application log, but you'll find a lot of information about Traverse in these logs. But the other thing I wanted to touch on is if you install Traverse a while ago and then you've upgraded a one or two or three times for new features in the product, it's always a good idea from the web client, we're going to get there in a second, it's always a good idea from the web client to hit Control F5. Control F5 refreshes the style sheets and it refreshes the JavaScript. And we're going to touch on that right here. And then the video will be done. I don't I know I don't like the videos to go this long, but eight minutes and 30 seconds is not going to kill us. Um, always hit Control F5 after installing Traverse. It refreshes the style sheet and the JavaScript. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can download all of our software from our website.